YouTube, um, so it's Mickey. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. I am on cycle day. Let me look at it. It's 20 something. 28. 28? Oh, I'm sorry. 29. <laughs> it's the 28th. <laughs> okay, I'm on cycle 20, uh, 29. <laughs> Um, so let's see, I made a little outline on what I wanted to say, um, it's on my screen. So, um, recently I started to read a book that was recommended to me, um, by TJ, who is TTC Texas Star. It's called Making Babies. Um, I don't know if it's flipped around on my, on the screen or not, but, um, I really, really like this book. Um, it actually gives me hope. <laughs> you know, if there is something wrong with me or whatever, um, it has like holistic and um, Chinese medicine. Uh, it has suggestions on what to do. Um, it give it gives you a type. You know, you take a online test to find out your type, um, and it says what your type is prone to having. Um, and, uh, things, uh, they suggest for you to do, um, herbs or supplements to take to help you out. Um, I, I really, really like this book. Um, I like it so much that I started looking for, um, an acupuncturist or an herbologist, um, cause one of the people on this book is an herbologist. She's a certified herbologist and, um, and I did find one. I live in a really small town in um, Virginia. Um, I am actually 30 minutes south of um, Richmond. So that's always like the closest thing to go to. Like if, if I need something, that's where I go usually. So um, I did find an acupuncturist and an herbologist who specializes in fertility issues. Um, they're a little expensive, but not as expensive as, um, you know, trying to save up thousands of dollars for IVF or IUI, you know, um, because my insurance does not take care of that. Um, the military insurance, they take care of, um, they take care of all the medicines. They take care of the procedures to find out what is wrong with you or whatever, but they will not pay for IVF and they will not pay for IUI. They'll pay for the meds for all that stuff, but they won't pay for those actual procedures because they're not guaranteed procedures. There's no guarantee that you will get pregnant. So my insurance will not take care of that. Um, but since they do take care of some of it, some of the stuff, um, it is cheaper, um, I, I believe when I was looking online, most of the military spouses were saying that um, it averaged about $4,000. So that's really good, but at the same time, you know, that's still a lot of money. <laughs> so um, the herbologist and the acupuncturist is about $250, um, and that's for your initial appointment with them and a follow-up appointment with both. Um, they have acupuncturist side where you know they have their cost for the initial one and their cost for the follow-up and then they have an herbologist where they have their own two costs so putting it together it's about two hundred fifty dollars which is a lot cheaper than paying saving four thousand dollars or taking that much out of my savings which I don't want to do I don't want to touch savings <laughs> so um, I think you know after the holidays and stuff um, that's something that I'm going to save up for and, uh, you know, try to do. Um, other than that, I've been trying to, uh, get better at my charting. Um, I'm really bad with doing with like ritual type stuff, you know, doing stuff the same way every day or whatever. Um, I did get my IED taken out in December and I was, I would do okay and I would do good at remembering to take my temperature and whatever, but then I would stop because I would forget one day and then I'd forget the next day. And You know, so the charting I do have in my phone right now and my app 
has not been, you know, ac I, I wouldn't say it would be accurate, you know, because there's big gaps. So, and it's not like one day, one day gap. It's like a few weeks, you know, and especially since I'm not regular, it was just, you know, 119 days. <laughs> I was getting a little frustrated and taking a temperature and for nothing to be happening. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I just would forget or I would just totally stop. Um, so I started charting for this cycle. Um, starting on the 14th day because I could not find my basal uh, thermometer and I kept on getting thrown off with stuff so I wasn't able to go to the store. So I did end up finding my thermometer. So uh, starting on day four, on cycle day 14, I started um, charting again. And um, just recently I have started to try to um chart the cervical cervical mucus the cm that one's not going so well. i feel a little uncomfortable doing it and i actually had my husband try to do it and he said he didn't feel comfortable doing it so you know it's a little weird um but yeah um something i've noticed about my uh bbt is I know your resting rate, your first, your temperature that you take in the morning. Um, oh my dog. Um, I know that it's supposed to be low. I know that, I guess. It's like it's supposed to be your lowest throughout the day or something. Um, but my temperature is from mid, mid to high 96 lately. 96 point whatever um, my lowest is 96.3 and my highest is 97.7 um, my chart is a little weird um, I'm not sure um, what I might be doing or if this is regular or something but um, I'm gonna post it on here and you can see it over me uh, over me talking and it's just it's a little confusing to me. So if you look at it and you see anything maybe a little out of whack or maybe, I don't know, you have any suggestions or be like, oh, okay, you're just looking too much into it. It's okay. Uh, let me know because I, you know, I'm new to this. I'm new to the, the charting thing and being accurate with my charting. Um, so any suggestions, anything you want to say about it, please do. <laughs> I'm open to anything, um, good or bad, that you have to say. Please just say it. You will not hurt my feelings. Um, I'm not very, I'm not very sensitive or anything like that. Just I want to be informed. That's bottom line. I want to be informed. Um, as far as my weight loss journey, um, I have lost five pounds. Yay! Uh, <laughs> um, actually, my husband has really, really been helping me with this. Um, I'm. I've never been, I wouldn't say I've ever been like really, really active and really into eating well and stuff like that. I like to go out and eat, you know, I'm a hamburger and fries girl, you know, <laughs> so he's really helped me with that. And I, we have not gone out to eat in almost two weeks now, which is really out of the norm for us, really, really out of the norm for us because I would say maybe every other day we would get something out to eat. You know, because I'd get lazy and I don't want to go to the store. Um, since I live in a small town, it takes about 10 minutes to get to the nearest fast food restaurant, which has helped us from actually going out to eat now. Um, and I feel like I have more energy, which is crazy. I don't really, I'm not, you know, I usually have trouble getting off the couch, <laughs> you know, and I coined the phrase planting. Um, with my friends and you know, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm planting. They're like, what? What does that mean? Uh, that meant I was going to lay on the couch and I was going to sprout roots and you would not get me off the couch. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that tells you a little bit something about me. So um, getting more active and actually losing five pounds, that's craziness to me. Um, so I'm really happy about that and I'm really happy that my husband has um, been really supportive. He's in the army. He's, he's active when they do PT. 
So my husband's uh, thing only lets me record for 10 minutes, so I'm going to try to keep the rest of this short. So, um, I, um, so yeah, my husband's been helping me out a lot with, um, with going, getting motivated and going, getting out there and, you know, he's been detrimental to this whole weight loss thing. And we've also done, um, like a herbal cleanse type thing, which I think has helped as well. Um, so yeah, things are going great on that front. Um, we're on day 10 of the herbal cleanse. So, uh, it's the last day of it and hopefully all that fast food is out of our systems and, <laughs> and we can move on from there. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was the clear blue OPKs. Um, I, I switched to the strips just because it was cheaper. But I was having trouble reading them. Um, and I did some research online because the kits, they come in a pack of 20 and they don't have refills. I looked online everywhere and, you know, they have the digital thing, but there's no refill sticks. So I looked online and um, one of the ladies said, did you know that the, the um, clear blue fertility monitor sticks are the same exact thing as the ones that go in the digital ones? And I was like, what? You got to be kidding me. <laughs> so she said that she had been using um, those as the refill and that they've been working just fine. And, you know, she gets her negatives and she gets her positives as well. So I was like, I might try that out. And also um, somebody put, well, the reason they do that is because the digital ones um, run out of battery fast. Well, <laughs> I like to take things apart. I can put a whole radio tick apart and put it back together. Um, and I opened up the, um, I have two of the digital things and I opened it up and the batteries are right there. And it's two of the really small ones that you might either put on a watch or um, put in your car battery. Uh, they're just really small, something that you can, you know, buy from the store. So it's like, oh sweet <laughs> and I put it back together and I used it and it works perfectly fine so um you know the uh the refills for the monitor for the OPK monitor um come in a box of 30 and online you can get them for $25 which is a lot cheaper than the digital pack buying the whole thing and I was having to pay 40 50 dollars for it so you know I'm saving some money there it might not be a lot, but I'm still saving money, which is great. Um, so yesterday I got the refills, um, and I took it. Um, those they want you to take with your first morning um, urine. Um, but I already knew I had a negative, so I, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and take it. You don't have to take it with your first morning. Um, I've, I've done it in the afternoon before um, when I with the other ones with the actual box not the refill um so and i have gotten positives in the past with that so um so i wasn't surprised that it was negative the other day um yesterday but this morning i took it um because if you watch my the last video i posted i was saying that i um that the lines were starting to get darker than they've ever been and i was like hmm you know, they've never been that dark with the stick, so I was thinking it might have been a positive or maybe coming up to be a positive. So I took my OPK today with the smiley face, and I actually got a smiley face today. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to get too happy about it because um, I... Uh, I checked my cervical mucus yesterday and this morning and I had like the creamy um, cervical mucus. So it wasn't the egg white one that you want that says that you're fertile. So I don't know whether it it's just that the, um, the clear blue is sensitive just more sensitive and detecting that I am going to soon. 
um, which I know it's supposed to tell you the two best days before. So I'm hoping that in the next two, three days that my, um, my CM will change to the egg white because right now it's not. Um, if I'm doing it correctly, <laughs> let me put it that, that way. If I'm doing it correctly right now, it's not. So <laughs> I don't know if you have any advice on that or, you know, uh, tell me what you think. Cause I, I don't know. I, I was happy to see that smiley face, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm apprehensive to be excited about the smiley face, you know? Um, so yeah, that's about all that's going on on this front. Um, I'm going to cut the video um, off now because I've gone way over the time I was expecting to. I hope you all are doing well. I hope uh, you get your BFPs. I always have to think of the acronyms. I have the Army acronyms down, but I'm getting used to these acronyms now. <laughs> so I hope you have a good day. I am about to go get ready to walk the dogs. All right. I will see y'all soon. Bye.